I don't have time to have to pull out Big Bertha. <laughs> Hey, girly. I just had to take myself on a little lunch date, honey. I'm eating hibachi. I will say. They was very skimpy, honey. This rice. Oh. Baby, look at that. Dang, they only gave me five pieces of shrimp. What is this, like a lunch special? Flavor's good. I got a Pepsi. So yeah, you gotta learn to do stuff by yourself, baby. Quit asking people to do stuff. And just do it. I found a, like, shop with me. Um, then I went to Burlington's. Y'all know my Burlington's is trash. I don't ever find nothing in here. What else? I bought these cute gingerbread towels. Oh! They have like a bow tree topper. I got the bow tree topper. I'm just wondering now. Oh! Y'all know I'm obsessed with cups. Like if you watch me for real, you know I'm obsessed with tumblers. They have like this bling cherry tumbler. Baby had to have it. Mm, they got flies and stuff. Lord, please watch over me and my stomach. Don't let no sickness come to me or harm my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mm -mm. You know, these new flies ever since COVID, baby. These new flies, they real disrespectful. They don't just land on you. They bite. Don't slide. Cause baby, why you sliding, girl? Anyway, got my camera gonna slide. Hey girlies, welcome or welcome back to another video. I am currently on my way to TJ Maxx. Today is content day. We have a lot of content to do. And yeah, I have y'all like on my dash. I hope y'all don't like fall. Pretty sure y'all will. So yeah, um, I'm currently on my way to do all my content today. Um, I'm looking for a couple of things. I don't really know. So I'm on my way to TJ Maxx and then I wanna go in Burlington's. I would love to go on Old Navy and then also Target just to see what they got. I just, I'm in the mood to do a little bit of shopping. Well, a lot of shopping. And I've already been doing a lot of online shopping. Like this morning, I ordered that Wicked Stanley, the Air Ariana one, I guess. And not to mention like all the other stuff I've been ordering. Like I ordered so many clothes from Victoria's Secret that actually get delivered today. So I need to be making sure I'm watching my phone to see when that gets delivered because girl that's a big order and I don't want it sitting outside um I'm trying to hold y'all because my camera's sliding what else I need to get y'all updated on um I ordered a Victoria's Secret perfume like gift set thing it was $120 that comes Tuesday Woo! so yeah that comes Tuesday I'm currently wearing a Victoria's Secret jumpsuit my wig is trash because I don't really care. I just don't, I'm just not in the mood to wear makeup anymore. Like, I don't know what it is. And it's like, that's why I'm trying to work on my skin right now. Hold on, I'm returning. My skin right now because if I'm not gonna be wearing makeup, I need to make sure my skin is flawless, honey. Period, poo. So yeah, that's all I got to say. Okay, I'm glad we kinda stop it. I was gonna get a coffee, but I don't know how people be freaking drinking coffee and shopping like I can't it'd be too much going on there's no way I'm getting a coffee right now I can't drink a coffee and then be trying to shop and then get content there's no way it's too much and I'm vlogging for YouTube hello don't play with me ah! people don't work a job anymore wow this is crazy Ugh. I gotta get something to hold my camera so you yeah, don't be slipping aside I should just park in the middle huh so that way I know all the stores. I like parking far. A lot of people, oh look at grandma. A lot of people on my videos, they'd be like, why do you be parking so far? Like, I like to park away from people, baby, because people will park next to you and freaking hit your car. Granted, I ain't got no 2025. I don't want nobody hitting my car. 
I paid money for this car. I paid this baby off. And I need to make her last as long as possible. Because who wants a car payment? Who wants a car payment, baby? I bought this last night from TJ Maxx. It smells so good. Oh. Hold on, I kind of want some. Oh, y'all see my Chanel earrings? Don't look at my wig. I'm about to start getting my hair done again because I'm tired of this. I'm tired of looking janky. Say Beyonce. I always said when I got a little money, there would be signs. I always tell people when I became rich. I got to think of an intro. Uh, I think I'm going to say, I always tell people when I got rich and when I became rich, I wasn't going to make an announcement, but there will be, there will be signs. Maybe we'll go with that. I've always said when I became rich. I always said when I came into some money, I wasn't. Oh my God, think. Where's my Summer Fridays? The one that I like. I always said when I became rich, there will be signs. Hello. Chanel on the ears. Ooh, the sun, baby. Okay. I always said when I became rich, I wasn't going to tell people. But there will be signs. Chanel on the year, yeah! 2024 Bling Collection. Oh, you see it. What? I'm an oversprayer. Alright, TJ Maxx, Burlington's. Then we're gonna drive down there. Greetings, Earthlings. I am home. Um, I didn't really vlog in the store because it was already starting to get packed and I still have social anxiety. And people be all in my face and then I saw a lady and she was talking my ear off. Then I saw a lady from work. So, yeah, and then I went to Burlington's. I didn't film in there because y'all know they be playing that loud music. And I don't have time to be getting copyright and then trying to do all this chopping in the clips. So, I just didn't record. And look what came, my Victoria's Secret package. And it's a big one too, sister. So, let's look at it together. I'm so excited because I spent $250. And this surprisingly came pretty quick. I ordered this the other day at work. Ooh, it's just a bunch of zip up tops. Oh, it's a like pink on the bag. I'm like, what is that on the bag? Um, did I show you all the bling collection I got already? I can't remember. Ooh, that color is cute in person. Okay, that color is cute too. If you hear anything, it's my fan going because baby it gets hot. So, this is from their 2024 fall collection. Oh, I love it. I will say, I do wish that they were back into their 2024, I mean not 24, 2029 bag with like the bling and the sequence and did more. Pink, you almost got it right. We need more. So, I bought this. This is like an ice blue color. And it just says pink here. And like on the back. And this shirt was... $40, $39.95. Oh, and what I'm wearing now is a sweatshirt. It's a pink with the rhinestones and it has like rhinestones on the back and on the bottom. Like what I'm wearing now, except it's not a zip, it's just a sweater. And she was $70. When I bought this, when I bought this, I didn't look at any price tags. I just grabbed. I didn't even want to know how much this stuff cost. I just wanted to know what it cost when I checked out and when my total was $387, I was like, wow. Well, it was $400, but I had a $20, a $20 Victoria's Secret Pink cash or something like that. Um, This was $45. This is the long sleeve. And then it has like the pink on the back. And this is the pants. It has pink down there. And the pants are $70. $70 for some freaking sweatpants. I just be doing stuff. So this is like what I'm wearing. It's the blue zip up and they say pink on the back. And it's a zipper. So yeah, that's from the rhinestone. I think it's called Shine, the Shine collection. I love it. I do wish the jacket was a little longer, but I am a plus size girl. Um, so yeah, I got long arms, but it's very really comfortable. So I bought the other day this pink one and it was the top was 50 with the maroon. These are the sweatpants. These were 60. 
So the reason why I'm showing you these is because I bought the jacket because I didn't need to buy no more pants because I already had that. So let's unravel. Oh wait, I'm gonna do a picture. I've been trying to be like a real influencer and content creator and stuff, sister. Put my glasses back on. This is the back of it. See, like it matches. So this is one set. I already had these. I had bought them in store. Um, I know all this stuff is online. I don't know whenever I'm gonna post this video. And then it has like pink right there. Super cute. So these are all my fall clothes. Like I'm gonna be dripped out in pink this fall. Oh, I'm gonna do that one last. I love this color. Oh my god, I love it. I'm so glad I got it. Oh, I love this color. Now th I think this one was a little plain. They should have put. Yeah, they definitely could have put something on the back. They played. But the color makes up for it. Like, look at this color. This color is going to look so good on my skin tone. And it just got like a little pink logo there. Girl, they going broke or something because these logos have been so cheap. And idiots like me just keep buying me. This color. And yeah, it just has like matching pink logo there. Oh my God, look at this color. Oh my god, this is gonna look so good on me. Ah! With some black hair. Mm. This is gonna look good, girl. This is gonna look good. So, I love that color. I'm so happy with them. And this one is the one I'm most excited about. This is the one with the actual rhinestones on it. A lot of people were talking about how, like, the collection didn't really have that many rhinestones. It was, like, glitter and stuff. But it did, like, one set did have rhinestones on it. And it's this one. And I'm gonna hand wash like i'll probably like wash it in the washing machine but i'm gonna air dry this stuff or i might even hand wash it i don't know i'd be scared like look it has like the actual rhinestones it has like actual rhinestones on the freaking jacket hello the color do look a little dirty i'm not really a big fan of the color but i just wanted it because it had rhinestones I just feel like they should put the rhinestones on pink, like, and why does it look a little cropped? Don't play with me. Or maybe, or am I tripping? This look cropped? Oh, definitely don't. So yeah, this is this color. Oh, how much was this? I'm sorry. Woo! This jacket was $70, sister. Damn, I paid $70 just for a jacket. For some sweats? How much were these bottoms? Ah, 65. And these are the bottoms. And it has the rhinestone right there. So freaking cute. So sister, that's everything I got for pink. I need to hang all this stuff up. Oh, I do kind of want to do like a TikTok or something. I'm just in my content bag. I usually don't buy clothes. But, and I'm comfortable in this. Like I don't feel uncomfortable because I'm a plus size girl. I don't like tight clothing on my body. And it just makes me feel really weird. So this, I'm comfortable. Like I said, I do wish the arm part was a little longer, but it's okay. It's it's not unflattering, but it's just like, oh, okay, you know, cutesy. But I would prefer it to be a little longer, but I still feel comfortable and cute. And yeah, so that's my little haul. This about, girl, this is almost $1,000 worth of clothes right here. I was going to say, they gave me a wing stop. Did they? Oh, hello fresh. Do I get a discount? What is this? $25 off of $75 purchase. Baby, let me hold on to this. Because I do plan on going back to pink like today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I'm going to hang all this stuff up. So yeah, I do plan on taking care of my clothes. Because I don't know about y'all, but I wear my clothes. Especially with me being a plus size girl and finding stuff that I'm comfortable in. I have to take care of it. So, like, my clothes, y'all gonna see me wear them multiple times, baby. I don't wear stuff one time and never wear it again. I wear my clothes over here. Like, that black romper that I got from Old Navy, I love her down. Y'all probably don't see her, like, four times on my channel. I wear my clothes, sister. So, yeah, I'm gonna hang all my stuff up. Um, I kind of want to clean up a little bit, and I need to take out some trash. And, yeah, I don't really have my, nothing else to do. Oh, I need to edit some videos so I can have them ready to post for TikTok and Instagram. Make sure you follow me there. If you're not, what are you doing? I'm just chilling. It's already at 102. October 18th. Ain't it crazy that it's already October? Like, all oh, my birthday is in December, December the 3rd. It's crazy that the year is almost over. I've been, like, working on my self-confidence and stuff. Like, not wearing makeup 
and just being comfortable with being a plus size girl because trans girl and like you know just loving me because like there used to be times where I would never want to vlog and now that my platform is growing and people are actually watching me it's like I really have to like do this you know like I have to be comfortable in my skin and love me and stop being embarrassed or feeling judged because people don't judge me regardless I am a black trans woman in white America not everybody is as openly and accepting and I'm perfectly fine with that you don't have to accept me I don't have to accept you it is what it is we don't ever have to talk but you're not gonna disrespect me and you know just getting in touch with like my inside and like my personality like and not being afraid to show my personality and bubbly side so y'all might not be seeing me wear makeup and stuff and then like I feel like I really don't know how to do my makeup it be looking crazy <laughs> but it's okay it is what it is people always have my makeup cute I don't know if they be lying I know my wig be looking a mess, honey, because I don't care. I'll get stuff and go. But if I'm finna step out or something, then I make sure I'm putting that on. I'm gonna quit rambling because I gotta post a video. So let me post my video, hang my clothes up, clean up. Probably gonna take another shower since I ain't going nowhere else today. I don't think I'm going nowhere else because I like to go to the stores when they first open because it don't be packed. Let y'all charge. And I don't know. Figure out what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm going to let y'all charge and I'm going to show y'all what I got from Burlington's. But I'm going to do that after I take a shower and stuff. So I will be back. I promise. Fingers crossed. Let's we'll see. Look, my camera's on. Hey, sisters. I'm at Ross right now. I know. I, I just be jumping all over the place. But look at these boots. Aren't these freaking cute? Or booties? Would these be considered booties? These are so pretty. And they got like rhinestones on them. They're only $24.99. I mean, I don't know what I'm getting excited for. Lord knows my big foot ass can't fit. I like these. I'm gonna get some. How much are they? $4.99? I like these socks. They're cute. I'm gonna get me a pair. Really? $4.99. Because my feet be freezing at home. Like, freezing. Oh, I do wanna do a video on these. And I gotta stop walking off from my purse. Let me know, do y'all be walking off from y'all's purse? Like in the store. I love how like Christmas time they have like all these sets. This is like a pair of juicy slippers. So I already did my TikTok content. Now I'm just like getting on my Instagram content. I need to make sure my TikTok don't close out. Cause I'm trying to like get a lot of content. So I don't got to keep coming to these stores every day. So now I'm just walking around getting some content sister. Um. I gotta go back to T I gotta go back to TJ Maxx and get a girl's order. Because I be freaking about time zone differences and stuff. And she won't reply, so I just refunded her her money and went on by my bay. And went on by my day. But I guess she live in California. I guess she live in California and like it was seven o'clock there. So I was like, ooh, my bad sister. Is there some purses over here I need to record? I don't think so. This is giving high-end, classy. These are so freaking cute, and they're only like $9.99 at Ross. I found a freaking Ugg robe, like Ugg, the boot brand. They have a freaking robe, it's $40. If you're ever looking for like juicy bedding, let me show you. Look at this bed set. I already have this, but look. And it's only like 59 55 So cute. They also have this one, but this one is ugly. I don't like it. All right, I'm gonna go check out now and on to my next destination. Something told me to bring my freaking camera charger. All right, TTYL. Hey, you guys. So, I am home. I don't know the last thing I recorded. What was the last thing I showed y'all? Uh, I don't remember. But I am home, sister. Um, don't mind my hair. I saw this picture of B. <laughs> I saw this picture of Beyonce with some freaking wand curls, and I tried to do it. And I don't. It looked it better when I first did it, but I don't took a shower. And this is curly hair, and the slightest moisture will make it get back curly. So it's a lot going on. So just ignore me looking like. Mufasa. I was just cleaning my kitchen. 
I just got done eating a seafood boil that I door dashed. Got the shower. And I'm just chilling, honey. It is the freaking middle of October, and I bought these freaking Halloween themed towels to hang from like my stove. And I never did it. I was having my pink ones on here because my kitchen theme is like kind of pink. That reminds me. I need to get a pink ice maker because this one's blue and it needs to go. I'm gonna get some type of usage out of this. I don't care if it's just two days. But they're so cute. And then they have like little ghosts on them. I don't use these towels. Like, I just hang them off my stove. I don't ever like touch them. So they shouldn't get dirty or anything of that nature. This is gonna have to do. I'm just gonna put this like so. Uh, ugh, get in there. That's what he said. Like having black appliances is like so crazy because like you can see any type of smears and I don't like that. <sighs> Shout out to my grandma and my mama for raising me right. I don't like no dirty home. Don't rain me so. Um, I hope my TV in the living room isn't too loud. I'm in my room. And you know, I keep telling myself, I need to buy a TV for my room, but then I feel like if I buy a TV for my room, because I don't have a TV in my bedroom, I feel like if I buy a TV for my room, I'm going to be stuck in my room. And that's what I don't want. I don't want to be stuck in bed all day. Um, I'm just hanging up my clothes and stuff. Y'all know tomorrow is Sunday. <sighs> Sunday reset. I don't ever do Sunday resets. I just clean up every day. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm not having my house dirty all week and then just magically clean on Sunday. Like, no, if I see something dirty, I'm gonna clean it. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. I haven't been to Target in a couple days, so maybe we'll go to Target. Um, I need to finally go grocery shopping. I did, like, clean out my refrigerator and throw out all, like, all the old fruit and stuff that I didn't eat from the last time I went grocery shopping. They got a little stain on. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna have to get my pink spray. Why am I tripping? That's definitely a little stain. And I'm not playing. I really went and got my pink spray. Cause it's a little stain on here. There we go. And the stain is now gone. Cause don't play with me. I was like, hold on child. That had a little stain on it. I'm gonna have to utilize my other closet. This one is full. Okay, and then I, I mean, I like these hangers. They're like pink velvet. I got them from Ross. But I hope y'all have been enjoying my little vlogs. I've been trying to be like more of a vlogger, like a YouTuber, and actually like be yapping and talking and not just show y'all stuff and then go off camera and don't come back. <laughs> Cause that's what I be doing. So I'm trying to work on it and actually talk and get comfortable with talking on camera because it's kind of like hard to be talking and nobody's talking back and it's like what do you really talk about like what do people care to hear you yap about you know am I making sense so that's just like where I be at why I love Victoria's Secret pink and why I think you should wear Victoria's Secret pink everybody needs to own some pink Nobody cares. You might feel like Victoria's Secret Pink been there, done that in high school. Versus me, it's like, oh no, I love it. Like, I love the material. And, you know, back then, I wasn't, you know, a trans girl. So I couldn't wear this type of stuff now. I mean, I couldn't wear this type of stuff back then. But now that I'm living in my troops and I'm funding my lifestyle, I can buy whatever I want to buy. And that's just like how I am. This is like a lot of people comment on my videos and they say, oh, Juicy Couture is so old, been there, done that, had that in high school. And it's like, okay, I really don't give two shit. Maybe did it ever click in your mind that back in the day, cause rem remind you, Juicy Couture used to be expensive back in the day. And now it's like in TJ Maxx, Burlington's, Marshall's, which is crazy. And it's just like, 
not everybody could afford stuff like that back then. Especially being a kid and going to school. Your parents wouldn't have been about you no Juicy Couture. They'd be like, girl, you better go to Juicy Couture hell. People just be so negative. And being an influencer, content creator, whatever you want to call me. And the more and more my platform grows and the more people come across my page. And it's just like, people are so... Granted, my positive overweighs the negative. But still, you know, you still get some negative comments. And they'd be like, what? Like, you could have just scrolled. Like, I don't care. Like, you could have just scrolled. You don't have to tell the world that you've been there, done that, had Victoria's Secret Pink in 2002. Like, what? I would never. I just be wanting to know, like, what go through people's mind when they comment negative comments on someone's post, especially a post where you see other people enjoying that post. What goes through your marble? If I come across a video and I see everybody talking about how they love Chinese food. I'm not going to comment on that video and say, oh my god, I hate Chinese food. I love Taco Bell. <laughs> you see, we all enjoy Juicy Couture here. Like, you don't have to comment and tell us, like, it's out of style. Like, especially like, with this pink stuff, when I posted that video and it went viral, the good overweight the bad. But then there was still, like, some negative comments where they were like, oh, it's not 2009 bling. It could have been more. Oh, it looked dull. I can't believe you spent $400 on this cheap looking stuff. The material isn't the same. The quality isn't the same. And it's just like, who gives a rat's ass? You see me enjoying spending $400 on Victoria's Secret Pink. Let me live my life. You didn't spend your $400. I spent mine. They're like, oh, you spent $70 on that sweater. That looks like a regular hang sweater from Walmart. And it's just like, wow. I was just like, whoa. There's you. Ooh. I ain't going to take all these Victoria's Secret bags and throw them away. What is that, a sock? Nothing in here, is it? Wow. I got a problem. How's this lighting? Is this good? Y'all like this? Y'all feeling this? Should I make it more warm? This a deal. Anyways, I'm gonna do a haul of all the things that I bought today. Everybody always be asking for house tours. I don't do house tours because people are crazy on the internet and I don't have time to have to pull out Big Bertha. <laughs> anyway. I'm trying to be considerate of my neighbors, unlike my neighbor who has the fucking dog downstairs that lets her damn dog bark all damn day. Ugh. I almost, I got a little upset. So y'all know, if you know me, you know that I am a cup collector. I love cups, I can't help it. I don't know what it is, my current obsession is cup. I think I've had like two cups in here. Two! <gasps> so I did buy this freaking stunning cherry cup it's cherries right i had to get i had to i don't care it was 24.99 hydro peak so i did buy this i already have one and it don't have the handle and this one is bigger so i was getting it i don't care this is a dupe for the soleil de janeiro's i swear this is a dupe oh my god and this actually smells wow oh. now that i think about it this smells just like solo de janeiro and I already have this. This smells just like the pistachio one. But, um, wow. I did not think about that until I just smelled it. It definitely smells like the pistachio one. Anyways, love this. Solo de Janeiro is like 50 something dollars, almost. This was only $9.99. I bought a charcuterie board. Um, this is going to stay in the bag though. I'm not taking this out because this is going to go with my Christmas stuff. Uh, I have a pal already for all my Christmas stuff. I'm low-key debating on buying a Christmas tree tomorrow, but we'll see. So yeah, it's like a gingerbread charcuterie board and it was only $19.99. And I found this Glitz and Glam. Oh wait, this is the brand that has, um, the bling brushes. I didn't know that. They have this bling mirror. And she was $14.99. Can y'all see the rhinestones on there? It matches my cup, low-key. 
pretty heavy. Oh, okay. I, I know I have got another cup. I'm like, and then y'all know I ordered that Stanley. Ooh, the Wicked Stanley. I ordered that online and it comes next week. So I've been buying a lot of cups. This is perfect for Christmas. This Santa tumbler. I had to have her. So freaking cute. How much was this tumbler? $19.99. Ooh, it's dusty. This holographic, like, champagne, martini, whatever. How much was this? $7.99. And it has, like, the huge bow on there. Cheers. I knew I had bought a third candle. Dang. See, I'm not crazy. I bought this Frosted Cookies candle. Look at the packaging on it. It's so cute. Y'all know I'm doing gingerbread. If you watch me on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I'm doing like a gingerbread thing for Christmas. And hello. Oh, this smells so good. I'm gonna like this now. November 1st, it's Christmas time. I did buy this freaking BB hand cream set, $6.99. I'm gonna open it. We're about to smell it now. It is Berry Bellini Lush Peach Vanilla Buttercream and Coconut Cream Pie. I'm so excited. This feels like Christmas. I'm so excited to buy myself Christmas gifts because I never was financially stable like the way I am now. I can buy stuff 10 times and not have to even think about it. Like, I'm, I'm to the point where I just buy stuff and don't look at, like, price tags. Even though I'm not really an impulsive shopper, for real, for real, like, I have self-control, believe it or not. I really do. But I can definitely buy myself whatever I want and not have to think about it or have to ask anybody for nothing, not have to be like, oh, if I buy this, I'm not going to eat for a couple days. Like, girl, trust me, I, I've, been, I've been there. So I'm just blessed and I thank God and I thank my supporters. Because without y'all, none of this would be possible. And I'm also thankful for my job, too. A lot of people be hating on their jobs, but I am thankful for my job. Because that little job, honey, done paid off my car. Got me having a roof over my head before any type of content creation. So I am thankful for my job. Vanilla butter cream. And this better smell good. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. Lush peach. I do like stuff that smell like peachy. Oh my god, I'm gonna hate these. I don't like this. That don't smell like peach at all. That smells very floral. I mean, these were only seven dollars, so I'm not mad. Berry Bellini. Oh, please, at least let me have one that I like. Berry Bellini is not that bad. Oh my god. I just wasted $7. Coconut cream pie. I do love anything coconut. So if I don't like this, then. Okay, I do like the coconut one. Because I was going to say, if I don't like these, then the grandma is the baby. But that one that smelled floral, I hate. I bought this 12 Days of Cocoa Set, The Grinch. Oh, you has the calories for each one on the back. And this was $19.99. This is gonna be so great to do around Christmas time. So I bought this, and it has like different types of hot cocoa in there. Where's number one? Oh, uh, number one is cinnamon. Are they not in order? Two is French vanilla. Three is hazelnut. Four is peppermint. I hate anything peppermint, so I'm gonna hate that. I already know. Five is gingerbread. Six is amaretto. Never heard of it. Seven is toasted marshmallow. Eight is caramel. And nine is salted caramel. And ten is milk chocolate. Why would they have the best for last? Oh, wait, there's twelve. I'm tripping. 12 is how the stole how the Grinch stole Christmas. Oh wait. Oh, just a minute. 
So 12 is, did I say 11? Wait, 10 is milk chocolate, 11 is double chocolate, and 12 is mint. Hmm, interesting. One of my friends who I'm no longer friends with, <laughs> it wasn't my fault by the way, because I know everyone loves to blame me. Um, I bought this Grinch mat to match this door wreath that I have that she got me as a secret Santa gift. And it was $5.99. So this is gonna go perfect on my door along with that, um, do, uh, oh my, I can't talk. Along with that door wreath. Rachel Roy, hey, this is that lady that got them, them blankets at TJ Maxx. Bought some of these socks, how much were they? $4.99. The five piece board and cheese tool set. Is it in the shape of a heart? Oh, it is. I was wondering. See, it's like in the shape of a heart. But it don't look like a heart, really, when it's in this box. But it's definitely in the shape of a heart. I'm excited for that. Maybe I'll make a charcuterie board one of these days. And people was like, oh my god, you're buying all this pair of stuff. Paris can't even cook. Why do you buy her cookware? Because her cookware is good. Like, what? Um, She might not know how to cook, but she sure did her thing with her cookware. Because this stuff is definitely not... Oh, I'm going to set myself fake. It is nonstick, and I've been using mine a lot. And I did a test when I made some eggs, and oop. I did a test when I made some eggs. I didn't put no oil or butter in there, and nothing came out. I mean, nothing. What the hell? Nothing stuck to the pan. Like it was nonstick. So ten out of ten, recommend. And it's pink, and it's affordable. Like how freaking cute! And then it comes with a lid. Hello, $17.99. And then lastly, I bought some gingerbread towels because like I said, I'm doing gingerbread theme for Christmas around my home. So it was on the way, I got these towels from TJ, oh, these came from TJ Maxx. They were only $7.99. So yeah, that is everything that I've bought. I'm so glad I finally did this haul because I was waiting to do it so I can clear this stuff out and put this stuff up. And your girl is about to charge her camera. And I'm just gonna chill and wind down because like I said, I gotta get up early. It's 10.30. Oh my god, yeah, I got to go. So that was my haul of everything I bought in the last two days, couple days, whatever. Massive haul, and then the pink stuff. Oh my god, I've just been doing so much shopping. And you made it this far, you better have like, comment, and subscribe. Don't play with me. I'm so close to getting monetized on YouTube and that was my goal for the year to get monetized on YouTube and I started getting paid from Instagram. But I've reached every goal. Oh, and I hit 100K followers on Instagram. So I've hit every goal but get monetized. I have to get monetized before the end of the year. So I'm about to be putting out all these videos and they're going to be kind of long because I need to watch time. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment and tell me something about my video that you love. Or just tell me you love me. Like, don't just be watching being nosy. Engage. So I will see you all in the morning, girly. Bye.